Well, obviously, the easier that the monetary policy stance is from the US and Europe, the better it is for Asia. So if we're getting signals that low rates are here to stay for some time ahead, and so far we are, that can only be good for Asia. I am concerned. I actually think MPLs are still far lower than they probably are in reality, or should I say the reported figures are still far lower than the reality of the figures that uh, the economy should be producing. We're seeing slower growth, we've seen a massive, massive increase in lending over the past few years and not always to very productive sectors. So really it's no surprise that MPLs are going up. But that's not a healthy sign, that's a reflection that this lending has not been very efficient. Well, if the kind of figures that we saw in July are carried forward into the second half of the year, then I think we will see much, much slower growth, and I think we'll see significantly higher non-performing loans. Having said that, those credit figures have been extremely volatile. June, very, very strong. July, very, very weak. So we have to see which one of the two really is the indicator for the second half of the year. It's not good for the economy. China is an economy that is very, very credit dependent at the moment. You can see a very close correlation between the credit impulse and what the economy does just a few months later. In fact, we've already seen signs that the economy is slowing again as credit has been reduced slightly in the past few months. And that's a very worrying signal for the second half of the year. I think MPLs really are critical, but I think we'll see lower earnings going forward too uh, as a corollary with a, with a slower growth in the Chinese economy. Well, I think overall the market very much liked what it heard coming out of Jackson Hole on Friday. From Janet Yellen, we had a, a repeat of the message that she still thinks there is a lot of slack in the US labor market, which ostensibly shouldn't be positive for equities, but it is because that means that easy money is here to stay for a considerable period of time in the US. And at the same time, Mr. Draghi from the ECB also gave uh, you know, a, a hint that he may be more open-minded towards, on one hand, QE, and on the other hand, maybe slightly looser fiscal policy from some countries in Europe. And that, again, is being seen as positive for equities.